So this question has a system of equations here, y equals 4x plus 1 and y equals 4x plus 3. These are in y equals mx plus b form, so I always take note of that. It may be important, may not be important. Let's read the question here. It says, how many solutions does, this, does the given system of equations have? Um, so, yeah, I guess I could, what could I do? Um, I'm having a hard time not treating it like y equals mx plus b, um, because if I were to graph these two equations, I'd have, let's call this one 1 in black and this one 2 in green. I'd have a y-intercept, oops, wrong color. Well, let's say I'd have a y-intercept at 3 for the equation 2 and a slope of 4, which means I go up 4 units, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and over 1 unit, 1. So I'd be here, so I'd have a line like that roughly. And for equation one in black, I'd have a y-intercept of one. And that slope is also four, so I go up to five. So here and over one, which is there. And that would, oops, that would look like this. Not perfect, I don't have a graph or a grid here. Um, but that's how those two lines would look. Um, so visually, not the prettiest, but what I know for sure is that when two lines have the exact same slope, those lines are parallel. And if two lines are parallel, that means they never intersect. And when two lines intersect, that is where their solution is. So the two lines will never intersect. That means they will have no solutions, right? They will never cross each other. There's no solution at all. So how many solutions does a given system of equations have? zero solutions. Now, if I were solving this maybe a more traditional way, let's say y equals 4x plus 1 and y equals 4x plus 3, and I thought of this as a system of equations, I could say, well, hey, I can use e... No, I'm not going to use elimination. I can use substitution. I can really use substitution or elimination, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to say, hey, I know y is equal to 4x plus 1, so I'm going to replace this y down here with 4x plus 1. So what I'm left with is 4x plus 1 equals 4x plus 3. And you can see right away I subtract 4x from both sides and they're gone. And I just end up with 1 equals 3, which is not true. And anytime you end up with a, with a solution, especially when your variables are eliminated or crossed out, that's not true. That means there's no solution. That's how you know there's no solution. Okay. So again, there'd be zero solutions.